Hi guys, it's Yolanda here and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing an unbagging slash unboxing. We're going to be doing this Ipsy bag and the Sephora play box. So we're going to jump into that. But first, I'm going to read today's quote. Today's quote is, Remember, you are never alone. Never forget that you are loved. Never doubt that someone surely cares for you. Okay. So with that being said, let's just jump right into the video. Okay, so first we're going to jump into this the Ipsy bag. So, of course, um, I open up all the items and I show you and then we're also going to try them out. So, this is this is the November bag. I got the mustard color. I love this bag. This is so cute. You can use this as like a purse as well. And inside, this month's card says, all you. So it says, the way we see it, November is a time to reflect on what matters most. For us, what matters most is you. Okay, I'm not going to read all that. So let's see the first item we got. So I already saw the spoilers, so I already know what I got. I never peeked, but I did peek this month. So I know what I'm getting, but I'm still super excited. Ooh, so I've never ta tried Tarte's blushes, so I'm super excited. This is the, Am the Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Blush. This is in the shade Feisty. Ooh, that's beautiful. So let's see. Swatch it. Ooh, like that. Swatch <laughs> <laughs> That's the Tarte Blush in Feisty. Next, we have the Barfly Highlighter. This is a stick um, highlighter. I'm literally dropping everything. Okay, this is in the shade Candlelit. So you open it. Ooh, it has a little top thingy. You take that off it's super big so we're gonna swatch it right there oh it's super subtle oh wait yeah it's super subtle it literally like wiped off basically oh well we're still gonna give it a chance we're gonna try it out anyway so that was the barfly highlighter stick Next we have Lime Crime Diamond Crushers. So I've been wanting to try these so bad. This is a cute travel size mini. This is in the shade Lit. Look at this packaging. Oh my god, so cute. So let me just... Ooh. Shiny. So that's that. It has a weird scent to it. I don't like that scent. Weird. Next, we have a ColourPop pressed eyeshadow. This is in the shade Paper Tiger. So I was super hoping that I got um, um, an eyeshadow that I didn't have because it looked pretty like something that I had already, but I don't have this shade. But this is one of the type of shades that I would cling to. So I am going to put it in with the rest of my color pops. So that's actually a pretty good like in between these two type of deal. The lip I got will not go with that look that I'm trying to plan on doing, but we'll see. And then lastly in here we have Gold Dust Dry Shampoo in the um, brand Ori Oribe. I don't know. I'm probably saying it wrong, but it says to shake well, spray 8 to 10 inches from scalp, tussle with fingers, or brush thoroughly until product is completely absorbed. 
So I don't really use dry shampoos, but I have heard a tip about wigs that if you do put a dry shampoo over the wig, it will take away the, um, the shininess. Okay, next we have the Sephora Play Block. So of course, it comes with the little catalog or pamphlet so it says survival of the chillest that is the november one now you open it up and it does have each product that it came with so let's see the bag it's me a clock so let's open it up oh it says something on top oh yeah it says it anyway so let's see first we got um, the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. So I can use this on a new mask Monday, even though I've been lagging it on those. Next we got a lip. This is in the Sephora brand, actually. Well, the name of the brand is, is the Sephora brand. I've never tried the actual Sephora brand stuff. I've only bought stuff from Sephora. Can't actually open it right now. This is a, it says it's lip luxurious, lip luxuriously, a super light lip gel in a soft pink shade that brings out the best of your natural lip color. So it says gel gloss ultra brilliant ultra shine lip gel. Looks like this. Look at that applicator. And switch on there. I'm not a fan of glosses at all, but we'll see. Next, we have in here oil. So this is Moroccan oil treatment for all hair types. So this is says spoil with oil, an argan oil hair treatment that conditions, protects, and adds shine to your strands. That's cool. A lot of these stuff I can't really try on the video though. Let's see what else. Ooh, we got Marc Jacobs Mascara. It says lavish lashes. Jet black mascara that creates long beautiful lashes with a unique curvy brush that builds volume starting at the hard to reach center lash line. Ooh, that's a long Seems like you get a pretty good amount of product off. So we'll be able to try that today. Let's see what else we got. We also got by the brand Cataline. Cataline. Oh, I'm going to butcher that. It says Vinyl Source and SOS Thirst Quenching Serum. It says Moisture Wanted. A skin saving formula infused with grape water to boost hydration and soothe even the most sensitive Skin. So that's cool. I already moisturized and I already prepped my skin. I honestly didn't know that was going to be in there. So I'm sorry. I already I can't use that today, but I can try that in another video. And then my scent this month is the Stop and Smell the Florals. This is a Burberry. This is in the, the scent Burberry. This is by my Burberry blush, a fruity and beautifully feminine floral fragrance that captures the vibe of strolling through a London garden. Okay, so to save time, I already prepped my eyelid and already set it with the skin, a color close to my skin tone. I'm just going to jump into Paper Tiger. So to save time, I'm just going to show how this color performs. I'm not exactly going to give you a tutorial on the eye look I'm doing. So let's just try out this shade. So I do like the shade. It is really nice. It does blend out nicely as well. And it is very pigmented. I just want the shade to get like a little bit darker. So I do like that. It looks awfully brown though, more. And I was hoping this color was more on the yellow orangish vibe, but I'm not mad at it. This is like a weird in between. 
So now that this color ended up being something that I didn't expect, I actually don't know what I want to do with this look anymore. Like what I want to put on my lid at all. I don't know, we'll see. But that is the color on my lid. It does look very brown, but... So I'll be back with my face done and then we'll move, oh, well, I'll finish the eyes and then we'll go into the mascara, sorry. Okay guys, so I finished my eyes, now we're going to move on to the mascara, so we're going to go in with the Marc Jacobs um, Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I already curled my lashes, so we're going to go in. Ooh, this is pretty. Wow, so usually I have a lot of trouble with mascara with like my lashes because um they're not very long and I never have a good enough mascara to make them look like you can see them, but this mascara works really well, so we'll see how long it lasts throughout the video, and if it doesn't, then I'll just put on um, falsies. So we're going to add a little bit to the lower lashes. I like this. This might be a new favor. We'll see. Usually I like the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, but this one works really well. Okay, now we're going to move on to blush. So we're going to take the Feisty by the Tarte one. That's really pretty. Might have added a little much, but it's okay. It's really pretty. Okay, so that was blush. Now we're going to move on to the highlight. So we got this stick one. Let's see. Can you even see it? Not really. Ooh. Well, it's just like subtle, but it's buildable, so that's okay. So after you add on like a bunch, it is noticeable. So that was the Barfly highlighter. I liked it. I mean, I'm more of a I like more of a more intense highlight, but this was really pretty. Okay, so we did all that. Now let's move on to this lip. So we're going to try the Lime Crime Diamond Crushers. This is in the shade Lit. So let's see. This is really cooling on the skin. Okay. So, this lip is so pretty, but it does not go with my eye look at all. Um, I don't know when I would actually ever wear this. It is very metallic-y. It dries super matte. Yeah, see? There's only some transfer because I did just apply it, but it dries super quickly. Honestly, it feels like velvet. Oh, sorry, I'm itchy. It feels like, like velvet on the skin. I love the way it looks. I love how shiny it is in the light. That is crazy. Crazy. So I mean I would never really wear this unless I did I don't know because I did a pretty subtle eye look and This looks insane compared to this maybe just a different eye look I don't know, but I would want to incorporate that in another video because it is really beautiful So I'm going to take this off and then I'm going to swatch the ultra shine lip gloss 
And I think that would be everything that we used. And I'll be right back. Okay, now we're going to go in with the Sephora Lip Gloss. This is the Gel Gloss Ultra Brilliant Ultra Shine Lip Gel. It says this is in the shade Perfect Nude. So let's see. Okay, so this does smell really good. Like almost good enough to eat. Doesn't taste good. Not a fan of glosses, but this does feel really good on the skin. I mean on the lips. It is a pretty shade. It does give your lips a nice nude. But. It is a little sticky. But it, it is pretty. So I'll be right back with my final thoughts. Okay guys. So this is the finished look. So I'm going to go through my final thoughts really quickly. And will be at the end of our video okay so first off the first thing we tried today was um the eyeshadow right the ColourPop eyeshadow in paper tiger i did enjoy this color it is usually it is in between for what i would usually go for it did come off more brownish than i thought but i did love it i do have it all over my crease and all um, smudged under the lower lash line. I loved it so much. It was very pigmented, super easy to blend, and it worked so well. So I have the eyeshadow. Next we have, I used the Marc Jacobs Voluminous Last, wait, Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I did love this mascara. This might be my new favorite. I didn't end up putting lashes on because I did still enjoy it so um usually i would put lashes on and i might nah i won't i'm not going anywhere but i am going to be trying this out more i did like that next we had the tarte blush i loved the blush i'm usually don't go towards these type of blushes i usually go more towards the peachy tones but this was a very beautiful color and it was buildable which i love i don't like them way too pigmented because i don't go for a very pink high um blush anyway but this i loved this was in the shade feisty we'll be using that more often as well next we have the barfly highlighter this is the stick highlighter in the shade candle lit this was really beautiful. I did like it was buildable. It did come out very beautiful in the end. It is very subtle, which I'm not a big fan of, but I did, I was able to build it up to my desired look. So we liked that. Next, we have the two lippies. So I do have the Lime Crime Diamond Crushers in the shade Lit. This was very beautiful on the lips. Oh my god, I loved it. The only thing is I don't know if I have anything to pair it with. Um, I will try out a couple more looks and see if I can find something to truly pair this with. But I don't know how I would wear this out. It did feel really good on the skin. Very velvety and smooth. You couldn't really feel it. It was very light and it was matte. And it didn't transfer much just when it was wet a little bit. But... It was very beautiful. Next, I have the Sephora lip gloss. So you guys know, as I said before, I am not a lip gloss person, so I will not be wearing this again. Um, I might just give it away, but um, it was a really pretty color on my, on my lips. It was a very pretty nude. I do love nudes, but I am not a fan of lip glosses, so I know I'm not going to use this. I do. I know that. But it was pretty. The only, oh, and the only other thing about this lip was when taking it off, it did leave a lot of um, glitter behind. So when I applied this, this did have a lot of glitter. And the other fault about this is it does leave your lips super sticky after um, removing it as well. So that was basically everything I tried from all this stuff. I mean, I did get a couple other things, you know, in the Sephora play box that I could not try today, but I will definitely try them again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unbagging slash unboxing. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Leave a 
comment down below any of your favorite products or what you got in your Ipsy and Sephora play boxes. Let me know what you're excited to use and what you love the most. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And don't forget, be your own kind of beautiful. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.